Who do you reckon will win in a fist fight? Maka or Lemmy? <laughs> Dude... How can Lemmy, with all of his sort of like raucous sort of like manly, uh, I still reckon Paul might have taken him. Oh, <laughs> you are full of hot takes today, dude. You are full of hot takes and people are going to roast you. Who did it best? The Rick and Backer player. When you think about like, I don't know, Chris Squire. When you think about Chris Squire, you might think of a Ricky. Killer, isn't it? But like, we'll get into the riff in one second. But I just got to share that, like, the recorded version on this. Check yeah. it out. Woo! I hate that bass tone. You do? I hate it. <laughs> ah, wow. I hate it. It's the worst. <laughs> when I was like looking at these videos, like for, for today, I was like, should I mention? That that gives me nightmares. So why do you hate it? Let, let's let's dig into that a little bit. Uh, drill into that a little bit, Scott. Why do you hate it so it, much? It sounds like if you got like a frog, right, filled it full <laughs> of gas, and then squeezed it like. <laughs> 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 First of all, poor frog that you're filling full of gas. Dude. I just don't like it. Okay, but you do have to admit that it is a thumbprint that that it's like you hear it and it's unmistakably Chris Squire on a Rickenbacker, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, like and, and yeah. honestly like I don't think it's anything to do with Chris's set. I think he's probably like an engineer. Do you know I mean like when I listen to the live <laughs> version I'm like this is great. This is great. I'm so sorry if I'm just offended like thousands oh, you, of bass players. You, <laughs> dude, there are so, so many people sorry. that are furious with you right I now. I am so sorry. What's his sound like? Cuz he sounds completely different to Macca, right? Everybody thinks that he's always bridge pickup, but it's more about where he's picking. If you pick back by the bridge, right, it, no matter where you are with the pickup selector, so even with the neck pickup, oh, right, yeah. yeah, right, that makes the sound like that thing that you don't love. So what I would do for Chris Squire is I would be in the middle and I would just roll off the neck pickup just slightly. I watched him do that in this interview where he talked about this tune and he also said, Scott, that this is doubled with a guitar. I don't know, a bit of drive. I love that bass tone. It's just the album. I'm just saying it's the album. Not Chris Squire. The album. What do I have in my hand? My balls? <laughs> no, dude. It's the gas frog. It's the frog. <laughs> my balls. It is not. <laughs> Fear not. Maybe Your balls first, are safe. Maybe this is the first time we've talked about balls on this channel. <laughs> and it won't be the last. Obviously, he had flats. Yeah. that top note, that top articulation where he gets that double. I never heard that for a long time until I heard an isolated and oh, it's so cool. I always thought it was this. Yeah, yeah. So he was playing a Ricky on it, right? He was playing a Rickenbacker like this one. I think, you know, this is a, this is a 90s reissue called a 4001 V63. And so McCartney was playing in early 60s. I don't know if it was actually a 63, but it was a bass like this with a toaster pickup here. They call it a toaster because look, looks like bread can go it's in those. Little toaster. <laughs> Who do you reckon would win in a fist fight? Macca or Lemmy? <laughs> Dude. Paul McCartney comes from Liverpool. Have you seen Paddy the Baddy? <laughs> he is like a bad boy. How can Lemmy, with all of his sort of like raucous sort of like manly, uh, I still reckon Paul might have taken him. Oh. <laughs> you are full of hot takes today, dude. You are full of hot takes and people are going to roast you. I mean, it's so, so cool. So let me, I mean, I don't know what he's doing with his pickups, but I've got a bit of drive on here. I mean, this tune's an E flat. I'm, I'm sure they're probably down a half step, but I'm going to just go straight in the middle and he's playing. And 
And then we've got to talk about this. Right? Like where he's yeah. playing those power chords in the verse. And, you know, I mean, so what do Paul McCartney and Lemmy have in common? Let's, let's say instead of a fist fight, <laughs> instead of a fist fight, they head to the pub. I mean, obviously, the Rickenbacker is the thing they have in common. But also, I wonder, Scott, do you think that they were both first guitar players? Yes. Paul McCartney, I think of as a songwriter primarily. Like, I, I think of him as like music incarnate, like the well rounded musician. Yeah. Writing, yeah. keys, guitar, drums, everything. I mean, he's the goat, right? And Lemmy, yeah. I also think of Lemmy as a frontman, songwriter, and he's playing this thing like a guitar. Yeah, he's got the power chords going on. <laughs> Yes, you know, and yeah. So I mean, Lemmy, Lemmy, and Paul. I Maybe think they're more alike plays. than you think. Absolutely. Yeah, more alike than you think. <laughs> before we get to the next one, right? Before we get to the next one, you guys can actually win this bass. We're actually giving it away in a beginning of the year giveaway. Um, and we're also giving away like a Ken Smith and a Sadowski and a Music Man Stingray and all of these other basses. It's totally free to enter. So if you want to grab your chance of winning this bass and one of those, it's like nearly 50Ks worth of basses, hit the link in the description or just go to win a bass buildaschool.com and you'll find it there. Okay, who's up next? This track is from the Rush Live record, Exit yeah. Stage Left. And my friend said, Getty's Rickenbacker just sounds like a distorted piano. And I'll never forget that. He said that as I was coming up and kind of like impressionable. He's like, oh, the sound on that record, just like a distorted piano. And I thought, oh, that's a really cool description. Like, yeah. I want to play a bass that sounds like that. So Getty's sound, I think, is all about his attack. I think it, with a Rickenbacker, he was just in the center. You know, everybody, for the longest time, I thought everybody with a snarly sound was bridge pickup. Got but it. I think Getty was in the middle. Oh. So I have a little bit of like emulation and drive going on here, but really it's just about, it's about that. Is he the first that's played with fingers? To ditch the pick yeah. and play with fingers. Yeah, a maybe. proper bass player, mate. <laughs> proper bass player. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe so. Yeah, it's so cool, right? I mean, and if you play that with a pick. That's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's yeah. cool. But Getty's sort of getting that vibe with just his hand. Very cool. <laughs> the wink, dude. So he's using his fingers as well. <laughs> yeah, he's playing fingers on that. It sounds like. Yes, dude, you picked up on that. I love that, dude. Second time, Rick James. Yeah, right. everybody <laughs> plays it wrong, right? And then. No. Oh, B to G. So. <laughs> yes. Touches. That's cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the MC Hammer track, I feel like, doesn't do that bass change. Oh. Right? I feel like the MC Hammer track, I could be wrong, but I feel like it's always MC Hammer is. Always. Let us know but in the comments. Could... In the comments. Wrong. In the comments. <laughs> Help us tell truths, not lies. Okay. Last up. Uh, maybe my favorite. Uh, check it out. There we go, he looks back at Lars. It's so good, isn't it? Dude, it, it, I feel like Cliff Burton could carry the whole show. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. 
there's a moment in that where the guitar, you know, where Kirk and oh, they James, come out. Yes, yeah. they come out. But, but the mix hear. is so bass heavy. Yeah, it's just all the bass. <laughs> yeah. It's just all bass. Yeah. Just like his sound with that wah and fuzz, yeah. playing with his fingers, so it's not with a pick. Yeah. Just ferocious, and the way he like expresses certain things with the wah, like sounds so primal and animal. God. I can't. I mean, I'm. I like look at. I'm like, what am I doing with my life and my base? Like, not anything as cool as that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so crazy, man. It's so cool, dudes. Thanks so much for watching. Shout out to Mr. Ian Allison here. Remember, you can win this base. Just go to the link in the description or win a base, build a school. Let us know what you think about this format. We would love to hear from you. And let us know if we've missed anybody. We don't think we have. And they, if you mention them down below, they've got to be like a Ricky player. Like, they've got to be known for it. I know that we through snuck. Through. We snuck in Rick James. I felt like we snuck him in, but come on. We needed <laughs> yeah, to sneak him in somewhere. Anyway, dudes, <laughs> take it easy. We'll see you next time. Pass me the Mr. Sheen. Hello. Do you know the majority of uh, dust is dead human skin cells? <laughs>